Welcome back. This video will review how to document vaccine orders in NextGen. The documentation process will be very similar for vaccines given during a provider and a nursing only visit. The nursing visit will have additional steps, which I will point out towards the end of this tutorial. Before beginning any documentation, double check that you have selected the correct patient, location, and provider. Location will be very important for maintaining an accurate vaccine inventory. So once you've opened the patient's chart, start your visit at intake and select your specialty and visit type. In this example, I selected nurse visit. In the reason for visit section, go ahead and type immunizations, or in this case, immunizations only, for this nursing visit and select add. In the HPI details, list all the vaccines given today. Next, in the patient info bar, go ahead and select immunization consent to document the patient's consent. Here, make sure to select yes and update the date to today's date. Note that you must save this entry before closing out the window by clicking save on the floppy disk icon. Not saving this consent information will lead to your vaccine orders not being sent to care. Close out from the immunization consent template and now back in the intake template, access the adult immunizations link to begin adding your vaccine orders. Make sure to select detail document in order for your work to show in the master IM. Now scroll towards the middle section of this template until we reach the adult vaccine questionnaire. And complete the following questions and mark whether or not the patient also brought the immunization record with them then save and close. Scroll towards the top of the template and select new order. Before starting, make sure to indicate that this has been a verbal order by checking off on the top right next to verbal order. At the bottom of this window, you'll see that there will be three tabs which you'll use to navigate to complete the order. Start off at the General tab. Here you will verify information such as the ordering provider and the location. Make sure to change as needed. However, do not change the insurance status information. Next, we'll move on to the Select Vaccines tab. The top half of this window will show a favorites list of vaccines. Here we'll go ahead and choose uh, MCB4 as our example. When you select the very first vaccine, you'll note that this review allergies window will show. Go ahead and answer all the following questions. We'll say that this patient is not allergic to any of the following. And so we'll note no to all allergies and save. Once you've completed reviewing allergies, you'll notice a check mark next to the allergy section on the top right of this window. If you need to add more vaccines as part of this order that are not on this favorites list, you can search through the search all button. For example, we will look for the flu vaccine. And then choose the correct vaccine below. All the vaccines that you have selected for this order will appear in the lower half of the screen. Next to each vaccine, select Counseled to indicate that you've spoken to the patient about these vaccines. Move on to the Vaccine Details tab. The VIS screen will soon appear. If you provided documents in Spanish, you can change the language on the bottom of this window by clicking down on the drop-down menu and unchecking English and checking off Spanish. To save these changes, select document as given. 
In this vaccine details section, start by selecting the funding sources for each vaccine at the top of this window, indicating the funding source under VFC reason. We'll say that this is not VFC eligible, as well for the flu. If a vaccine is from the Vaccines for Children program, click next to the vaccine under the Is VFC column. Now highlight the first vaccine, and in the middle section of this window, we'll go ahead and indicate the lot number for this vaccine. And you'll notice that other information will soon populate. Do not free text the lot numbers and only select from the pre-populated lot numbers. Other items to note in this section include the site in which the vaccine was administered, as well as consent information. Next, we can move on to the second vaccine and repeat these same steps again by selecting the lot number from this pre-populated list, indicating the site which the vaccine is administered, and who gave consent. You'll notice that next to each vaccine, the status will change from pending to completed. Once all your vaccines as part of this order have been marked completed, go ahead and save and send at the bottom right of this window. If you select save, your order will be saved into NextGen but it will not be sent to care. So save and send. Once you have saved and sent your order to care, go ahead and generate the immunization record by scrolling towards the middle of this template and selecting immunization record. and you'll see all the vaccines that were ordered today in the record. Now that this order has been sent to care and an immunization record has been generated, you can close out from both of these tabs, select yes, and as you return to the intake template, you can make your way to the SOAP section. Scroll towards the bottom of this template until you reach the assessment and plan and click on assessments. Here you will add the assessment code C23 by clicking into diagnosis code lookup. And then select search. And then select at the bottom and save and close. If these vaccines were administered during a provider visit, this would complete the documentation process for the vaccine orders. However, in this nursing only visit example, there are a couple other steps to complete in order to finalize this documentation. Scroll towards the top of the SOAP template to access the checkout section. and complete any pending items in the checkout template. Next, make your way to the finalized template. Under the provider sign-off panel, check next to submit to supervising physician for review in order to task this encounter to the provider who either gave you the order or verified the order. Select your provider and hit OK to task. To finalize this visit, you can then generate the master IM, review any information, and sign off the master IM. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.